I'm not aware of any religious organization which encourages its followers to critically examine the claims made by the religion itself. They tend to rely on faith instead. Faith that the holy books are what they say they are, the inspired words of the creator of the universe. If that, 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 that and that were all created by an intelligent being, then why are most religions still relying on texts written hundreds and in some cases thousands of years ago, which modern humans have a hard time agreeing about? The fact that there are so many different variations of Christianity alone suggests to me that rather than one of them being right, they're probably all wrong. Surely the creator of all this wouldn't allow his important message to be misinterpreted. Why don't we receive regular updates from him? Is it too much to expect the one true God of the one true religion to show every human being on the planet exactly who he is? As someone who is naturally sceptical, I can't help concluding that the faith demanded by the holy books has nothing to do with God and everything to do with the humans who wrote them. In other words, it seems like the work of a confidence trickster. Believe what I am telling you, and you will be handsomely rewarded. I wouldn't lie to you. Anyone who doubts me is just jealous of the amazing benefits I am offering you. All you have to do is trust me and follow a few simple instructions. If we choose to invest our hard-earned cash in a pyramid scheme, we are taking a gamble which might or might not pay off. If, however, we are convinced by the religious that a better afterlife awaits us, we are taking a gamble which might pay off after we die, or it might not. If it doesn't, we won't know that it didn't. So I would say that it's worth closely examining the claims made by those who promise us so much if we simply believe. If any of the claims they make, such as what rainbows are, don't add up, then I'd be very cautious about accepting any of it. When I was a kid, it always puzzled me that it was other people who were trying to convince me that God was real. Why couldn't God get in touch directly? The faith demanded seemed not so much faith in God or Jesus, Allah, Vishnu or whoever, but faith in the humans who were trying to persuade me. If the holy books themselves aren't convincing, why should we put our faith in the people who insist that they are bona fide, genuine, inerrant? the real deal. What if it's all a complex delusion? Wouldn't it be terrible if we wasted a large part of our lives believing and acting according to the instructions of something which at best was an elaborate mistranslation, or at worst mind control? We owe it to ourselves to be sceptical when others are trying to get us to sign up to something or get us to believe something especially if they're pressing us for a decision before we've had enough time to read the small print.